Is it possible a giant solar storm is headed for Earth and will cause a near apocalyptic breakdown of civilization? Or is this just some kind of big fat hoax? Let's find out. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, for the last couple of weeks, I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys asking me about a possible solar storm or solar storms that could be headed our way. Just check out this submission from Joshua Tomlinson. Oh no, we have to launch towards the moon by 2025 to avoid the deadly solar storms. These solar storms are back and threatening the life on Earth. All right, so here's the question. Do we really have something to worry about here? Or is this just another big fat fake orama just like all those asteroid stories and all that kind of junk? A solar storm, it turns out, occurs when our sun, you know, that big bright thing in the sky, emits huge bursts of energy in the form of solar flares. Now, scientists call these things coronal mass ejections, or CMEs for short. These bursts of energy can be about as powerful as billions of nuclear bombs. Billions of nuclear bombs? Now that's pretty powerful. So here's the question. What does this mean for us here on planet Earth? Well, this is what the boys over on Discovery Seeker Channel had to say about that. Big CME could affect electric power systems, satellites, aircraft, and spacecraft operations, telecommunications, position, navigation, and timing services, and other technologies and infrastructures that contribute to the nation's security and economic vitality. Okay, well, I guess that could be a really big deal if we do get hit by a powerful solar storm, but are we? Well, upon further research, I did come up with a solid answer for you guys. But before I tell you what's going on in here, why don't you let the world know what you think? Are we really gonna get hit by a powerful, civilization-destroying, apocalyptic solar storm? Just yell out, real, fake, or unknown? Okay, so let's see what we got here. Should we be charging up our batteries before the electricity goes off and the world descends into some kind of Mad Max, zombie-like, zombie land, whatever is gonna result from something like that? Or maybe we should just have a good laugh and go to the beach and enjoy ourselves for a change. <laughs> Let's see what it says here. Uh, uh, okay, well, the official answer it's not complicated, but it is. Fake. Thanks to some very well-researched fact checks by the Associated Press and USA Today, we now know all those crazy claims on the internet are just big, fat exaggerations of the real story. The real story is this. There was a solar flare not too long ago, and the resulting solar storm did reach the Earth on July 3rd, but without much impact. You see, the, the flare wasn't that powerful. Now, in addition to this, there's another story floating around right now about scientists who are predicting an increase of solar flares over the next few years as part of a natural cycle of the sun. Now here's the deal. Although we will be getting increased solar flares, there's nothing to indicate we're gonna get anything so strong as it's going to disrupt us here on Earth. What's really going on here is this. We got a bunch of social media types, you know the ones, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all these guys are desperate for people to click on their posts, so, well, they just cook up some good old clickbait to get our attention, even though it's not true. So, as usual, doesn't seem to be any threat of any big apocalypse coming our way, so tell you what, next time you see a video of somebody predicting the end of the Earth due to solar storms, you know what to do, right? Oh no, we have to launch towards the moon by 2025. So fake, it's funny. Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.